Next up to the mic is a, uh, a young man who in many ways started all this, um, is, a, uh, is a young man who sets an example uh, academically, emotionally, socially, uh, for all of us to uh, keep, keep pushing toward, towards the goals um, that we want. A, a, a preeminent scholar um, for our generation, the thing that I usually say is like, um, take a picture now because you know, in, in 20, 30, 40 years from now, it's gonna be worth something. Um, it's a man that I've known for a really long time, uh, that I've uh, battled with and struggled with and, and conquered with, um, and and I thank him for so many things. Joshua Bennett. How y'all doing? See, nah, miss. You can't cry before the poem, though. I love you too, man. So uh, this poem is for uh, another person I love named Miles, uh, my nephew. And uh, I, I don't know, he's like my sister's son. I don't know. That's the only word I have for it. Um, and I think, as has probably been the case for a lot of people, I think since... August 9th, 2014, you know, uh, when Mike Brown died and um, news of everything that was happening in Ferguson sort of spread and the, the extrajudicial killings of black folks in the U.S. context went mainstream, right? We'd start seeing videos all the time. It made me think for the first time about what to tell my nephew about the world, right? Like how to like sort of give him this kind of optimism and cheerfulness and hope, but uh, at the same time try to protect him. And uh, one, I'm thankful that he has parents that are doing an awesome job. But uh, I wrote this for him out of my deep love for him. Yes. And it's called In Case of Emergency. Letter to my nephew. No. Forgive me. Everything I write these days has a bullet or a badge in it. My last love poem began at a die-in the sky gray as a holding cell, her face contraband fireworks, mocking thunder. Before that, an ode to the one whose name you know well, who was afraid to raise a son with hands like yours, hair like yours, knowing we live in a country that never honors the names we give our children, calls them target, terror, Monster, no angel, boy with Berettas for hands, girl that is no girl at all, could never be so black you can't even tell what she's feeling, they said. Smile, they said. Why do you have to be so angry all of the time? I try to sleep, nephew, but the dead remain the only law worth living by. Vengeance, my jacket of steel. Vengeance, the sword I hold beneath my tongue like a spectacular secret. I want more than this dying planet for you. More than this bloodshot vision, these eyes bludgeoned by ghosts. You once asked if I believed in God, and I didn't answer. Chose to let the question float like an omen above us. What I meant to say, I believe that there is infinitely more than this, more than timelines filled with the names of the fallen, every hashtag an improvised tombstone, every morning fresh grief. I believe in what shatters me every time I see the ocean, what breaks whenever Frankie Beverly and Mays come on in the party and everyone sways like birds in a storm. I believe in the Lego movie. <laughs> the way it makes you laugh with your entire body, though you already know every single line. Forgive me. My heart is an endless elegy. My heart is the ash every house of God leaves behind. It's true. I don't always know how to pray anymore. Except when I do, except when the lightning comes and you say, I love the rain, Uncle Josh, and that's not even sarcasm. 
little Messiah, you stretch your hands out into the weather as if trying to make peace with it. We sprint through the rain in our blue jackets, screaming gibberish the entire time, our speed hammering dents into the air. I have no warnings that will hold their weapons at bay. No dress code or ancient wisdom to keep us living. Only these moments and the bulletproof box I built for you to keep them in. Only this black joy, the dark world stretched between our human hands, a holiness they cannot steal. <laughs>